Hey, badass business owners. Today, we're going to talk about gross profit versus gross margin. And what is the difference? Let's take a look. All right. Now, the first thing you got to keep in mind is that gross profit and gross margin are just two different ways of expressing a similar thing. However, they are very different from each other. So what we're going to do is we're going to break down each of them so you can see what they are and how to calculate them out yourself. Now, the first thing you got to remember, I preach this all the time. The number one calculation you need to know is sales minus cost of goods minus expenses equals profit. This is the flow of money through your business. You get your top line sales minus the cost to provide the service or product that you have minus your expenses. And that's going to how you end up with your final profits for the business. So when we're looking at gross profit and gross margin, we focus on those first two areas, which is sales minus cost of goods. That's where we're going to be focusing our attention for today's lesson. Now, gross profit, the basically gross profit is the profit dollars a company makes after cost of goods, but before the other expenses. So you remember it was sales minus cost of goods minus expenses equals profits. We're going to drop the bottom two. We're not going to look at the expenses and we're not going to look at the profit. All we're focusing on is your sales minus your cost of goods. So when we look at our little calculation, we're just going to make these two disappear. And here we are at our gross profits. Now, gross profit can be relating to two different things. One is the company's net sales minus its total cost of goods. So you have the big roll up for the month, for the year, the quarter, whichever way you're looking at it. And you also can be looking at it all the way down to a product or a service. And it's going to be the exact same thing, the sales price minus the cost of goods. So let's take a look at a business. Let's say the business did $25,000 in the month and their cost of goods were $12,000. That left $13,000 for the gross profit of that business before expenses, before profit. So just sales minus cost of goods is how we got our gross profit. In this case, it's 13,000. If we're looking at a specific item, let's just say we sell it for 888. The cost of goods are 425, which means that the gross profit of that item is $4.60 three cents. Pretty simple. Keep in mind your gross profit is the money that is left for your expenses and your profits. And after your expenses is where we get something called net profits. And sometimes that confuses people because you have your gross profits and your net profits. Just remember gross profits is before those expenses. So it's just sales minus cost of goods. After you take off those expenses, you get net profits. We'll do a different video on those. Now, if you're looking at your profit and loss statement, there actually is a line on here for your gross profit. And you'll see here that it's got on here the income minus the cost of goods. And guess what? That's where they come up with the gross profits. Now you're probably going, okay, then what's the difference between gross profit and gross margin? Great question. The gross margin is using it as a percentage. So it's the profit percentage a company makes after the cost of goods, but before the other expenses. So you'll notice it's very similar. It's still based off of sales and still based off of cost of goods, but it's expressed as a percentage versus a dollar amount. So when we're looking at our calculation, same thing at the end of the day, after sales minus your cost of goods, it's going to be either your profits or your margin, depending upon how you're looking at it. So let's take a look at the percentage way of doing this. Back at our PNL, you'll notice here that there are two numbers. One is your gross profit expressed in dollars, and the other one is a percentage, which is your gross margin. And you're going to notice here that we have sales up here of 100% because we always have 100% of that. Under this arrow is another number for the cost of goods, and way down below is one for the operational expenses. So we're going to take a look at that a little bit more. So hang in there. Now there's two ways to figure out your gross margin. One is the profit and loss percentages using your profit and loss statement that we just saw. That's the easy way. It's already calculated out for you. Or you're going to have to do some simple math. I promise you it is really simple and I'm going to show you how to do that. So if we go back here to our calculation and we take our PNL, we can fill in some numbers. Our sales are 100%. Our cost of goods were 45%, which meant that all the cost of goods added up came to 45% of the sales. And our expenses ran about 20%, which told us that our profit was 35%. If we wanted to know what our gross margin was, we would just simply do our sales minus our cost of goods and plug in the numbers. So if we had 100% in sales and 45% in cost of goods, that told us that what was left was our gross margin, which was 65%. That's the easy way to do it if you already have the percentages. Now, if you need to figure it out yourself because you don't have those percentages, 
How do you do this? Well, you can use the dollar amounts to figure out the percentages. Let's take a look at how that is done. Now we're going to take our cost of goods divided by our sales. This is how we get those percentages because everything is a percent of sales. So if we have cost of goods of $8,000 and we have sales of $20,000, then we can figure out that that comes out to 0 0.40. But to make it a percentage, we move the decimal two places. You might remember that from school and that gives us 40%. So our cost of goods divided by our sales. Everything is a percent of sales, like I just said. So in this case, 8,000 divided by the 20,000 gave, gave you the 40%. Don't worry, we'll do a couple more here for you. Now, if you need to figure it out by item, say you want to know what your gross margin is on a specific uh, product or on a specific service, you do the exact same thing. So we're going to take a product of $4.25 of cost of goods divided by the total sales price of 888. And that's going to tell you that it's 0.478. Move the decimal a couple places. It's 47.8%. Now, once again, little reminder, gross margin is the percent left for any expenses and profits. And after your expenses is where you get your net profit margin. Once again, earlier we said net profit dollars. Well, guess what? Now you get your net profit margin. So same thing, you can express your bottom line profit as well as your gross profit in both a dollar and a percentage. We'll do more on that. Now let's take a look at them side by side. This might help them make a little bit more sense. Let's say you have an item with a sales price of $20 and the cost of goods is $8.50. Well, to figure out the gross profit, we're going to take the $20 minus the $8.50 and that tells us that our gross profit is $11.50. Cents. Now, if we need to figure out our gross margin, we're going to use the same sales price of 20, same cost of goods of 850, but we're going to do a different calculation. We're going to take the 850, we're going to take the cost of goods and divide it by the total sales price. So in this case, we're going to take 850 divided by the $20, and it's going to tell us that our gross margin is 42.5 percent. So when we're looking at one item or one sale or total sales for a business, you're going to do the two different calculations. And in this case, it's going to show us a dollar amount for the gross profit of $11.50 and our gross margin of 42.5 percent. And this way we can look at it two different ways. So once again, your gross profit in your gross margin is this simple. Gross profit is sales minus your cost of goods and your gross margin is cost of goods divided by your sales. The first one is done as a dollar amount and the second one is done as a percentage amount. Now it's really important that you know your business numbers because when you know your business numbers and how they are calculated, it also is going to help you because each of those percentages and those dollar amounts mean something different in your business and it's important that you know what they are per item. If you remember nothing else about your business numbers, please remember our calculation. It helps you so many ways. Sales minus cost of goods minus expenses equals those profits. So many things are easy to remember if you just remember the basic flow of money through your business. And if you want to learn a little bit more about your profit and loss, we do have the video over here, profit and loss statement for beginners. And if you want to learn more about if you're pricing your products and services correctly, have a video for each of those as well. And if you like what you see, please Please help other people. So if you can, just hit that like button and subscribe if you want to get even more videos on this. Now get out there and become the badass that I know you are.